In today's video, I'm going to show you the one simple thing that you can add to rotator cuff muscle exercises that make them much more effective. The results can be amazing. The rotator cuff muscles stop the head of the arm bone, or humerus, from sliding around in the joint, especially forward and up. And the main two rotator cuff muscles that need to be strengthened to stabilize that joint are usually the infraspinatus and teres minor. Now they externally rotate the shoulder, so people tend to do external rotation exercises to strengthen them. But if the job of these two muscles is to externally rotate the shoulder and help hold the head of the humerus in place, why not do both at once? Focus on stabilizing the shoulder while we externally rotate. So here's how using a classic rotator cuff muscle exercise. Lie on your side with your head supported and the shoulder that you want to work on up. Now normally for this exercise, you put a rolled towel between your elbow and body and press in slightly to help to isolate the rotator cuff muscles and then slowly lift and lower a light weight. But let's add a step. Before you lift the weight, actively draw your shoulder back and down within the joint and then lift. This helps to stabilize the shoulder. It can help to put a finger against the front of your shoulder and then try to move your shoulder back and down slightly away from your finger and hold your shoulder in that position as you externally rotate. Now you're focusing on the stabilizing function of the rotator cuff muscles as you strengthen them. You can do this with other external rotation exercises too. A huge bonus of adding this step is that when you draw your shoulder back and down, you'll naturally strengthen two other muscles that tilt your shoulder blade into a more upright position. A more upright shoulder blade increases space within the shoulder joint, reducing things like impingement. Do these rotator cuff exercises until light fatigue every second day, but only within a pain-free range. If you add this shoulder retraction component, you'll probably notice that the muscles at the back of your shoulder and the shoulder blade start to feel like they've had more of a workout. Now you don't want to draw your shoulder back and down in any exercises where you lift your arm right up because that would hinder the very important upward rotation of the shoulder blade. When you lift your arm up high, a third of the motion is supposed to happen in the shoulder blade. So strengthening the two muscles that rotate your shoulder blade upward are crucial. I'll leave a link in the description box below to a video about how to strengthen those two muscles. My video on the three most important exercises everyone in the world should do includes a super important exercise for the shoulders, so I'll leave a link for that too. Anyway, there you go. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing because it always really helps. And let me know how you go in the comment section below because I really like to read that stuff. It's great feedback. Okay, cheers.